So do you know that uh, RNA polymerases also have a proofreading activity? Yes, they do have. Uh, but this one, the RNA polymerase proofreading activity is a little bit different from the DNA polymerase's proofreading activity. DNA polymerase exhibit a 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity. And by that, they remove the incorrect base. The DNA polymerase cannot have wrong bases incorporated because the DNA is the genetic material. But normally, RNA polymerases, they make mistakes uh, more frequent than the DNA polymerases. Uh, DNA being the genetic material, if there is an error, it will get transferred to the next generation and which will have uh, um, dangerous consequences. However, RNA polymerases uh, also poses two types of uh, proofreading activities. By that, they try to remove the incorrect insertion if it occurs by chance. These are, uh, one of them is called the pyrophosphorolytic. editing and the other one is called hydrolytic editing hmm. so let us understand what are these two say this one is the template dna this is three prime end and this is the five prime end and the rna synthesis uh, occurs in the five prime to three prime direction so this is phi prime and here is your RNA polymerase that has come and say uh, there is a T residue over here and now the RNA polymerase is going to introduce going to insert an A residue but by mistake it is incorporating a G it has incorporated a G residue over here so G cannot be against T there should be an A over there but it is an incorrect insertion. Insertion in, in the, I mean, the polymerization process uh, uh, occurs in the same way as uh, that occurs in the DNA replication that the, these molecules come in the form of a triphosphate. So, so guanosine triphosphate uh, arrives here and it uh, incorporates, incorporates the GMP residue, leaving the pyrophosphate moiety over there. So in this way, in the same manner, other nucleotides also, so you can say that all the molecules uh, we represent as N, they come in the form of NTP. In case of DNA, they come in the form of deoxy NTP, DNTPs. So this is the difference. So this is RNA, so they will come in the form of our NTPs only. So what is pyrophosphorolytic editing? In pyrophosphorylating editing, what will happen? The process will just be reversed. So this G has to be removed by this incorporation of the pyrophosphate residue within GMP. So GMP will uh, receive this pyrophosphate. Both of them will combine and will form GTP residue. This is what is pyrophosphorylating editing is. The and uh, and now when the G will be removed by this manner, the adenine will be adenosine will be brought in that place. So this is called pyrophosphorylytic editing. The other one that is, uh, let me show in the same diagram over here, that if uh, if the RNA polymerase fails to remove it, uh, remove the G residue uh, by this pyrophosphorylytic editing, it will uh, use this hydrolytic editing mechanism. In that process, what happens, uh, the RNA polymerase, it, it goes uh, reverse translocation. This is called reverse translocation. And, and, and by an hydrolytic uh, cleavage, it removes the G residue from there and it brings a, a normal base that is A. So this is how this hydrolytic uh, editing occurs. It is very very much similar to that of the uh, three prime to five prime exonuclease activity. However, it is not said like that because this is the three prime end and this is the five prime. So it is moving in the back direction in the three prime to five prime direction. But to distinguish it from the DNA polymerases uh, proofreading activity, what happens here? There are two other proteins uh, that become associated to this. The one is called the GRE elongation factor GRE another another one is this NUS and utilization substance these are two elongation factors they also get associated to this and they 
they uh, whether they bring the hydrolyzed hydrolytic uh, cleavage or the RNA polymerase itself, mm, uh, it, it remains to be to be known. Uh, so this is how uh, RNA polymerase is by using these two methods, um, it gets rid of the incorrect bases that get incorporated. This is not the 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 thing that we we mention about RNA editing, post-transcriptional RNA editing, this is not that. Post-transcriptional RNA editing occurs after transcription and this is occurring when transcription is going on. So this is different, this is proofreading, okay? So hope you like this uh, video and if you like it, uh, press the like button at least. If you don't subscribe it, at least you press the like button. Or, or you may dislike it also, there is uh, no option I think you may put in the comment. Thank you.